The blend shader. The blend shader is used to create round and soft highlights. So let's go up into our material editor. Um, and in my material editor, I want to come down in my shader basic parameters and make sure I'm choosing the blend shader. Now, in the basic parameters, I mentioned these in the uh, anisotropic basic parameters. So if you go back the past videos, you can see how all these are set. Same thing with uh, if you go into the specular highlights of the anisotropic uh, shader, I tell you how to set the, the level, specular level, and the glossiness. But let's go and take a look at here is a blend shader, and it creates rounded, nice, round, soft uh, appearing uh, 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 highlights. And so it's basically used by bouncing light off of low angles at this object. And so the highlights are lost when we increase the value of the soften. And let's go back and take a look. So down here we have the soften. So this button down here uh, is used to soften the effect of the specular highlight. So as we increase this, uh, we're going to get less and less of why the blend shader is used. So use this one with a little bit of caution because you're going to uh, make it actually um, uh, kind of uh, bring it back to a fong shader essentially is what you're going to end up doing. So uh, the blend shading is used for round, gentle, soft shades of, of the highlights. Uh, so we want to make sure we're using the blend for that type of application and be careful of the softening effect. Uh, so again, we can pick the ambient, the diffuse, and the speckler. So the ambient is the color and the shade. The speckler is the shiny spot. The diffuse is the color of the direct lighted. And also we can set our self-illuminance where the material is actually given off light, such as a light bulb. Opacity is means you cannot see through it. Transparent, low numbers means it's transparent. So opacity can't see through it at 100. Uh, specular level, the amount of light in the specular uh, area, how much um, percentage of light we have there. Glossiness, how much shininess or how much reflectiveness there in the specular area. So here is our blend shader. All right, make sure you choose blend uh, in your basic parameters.